What's up YouTube? Okay, I'm um, basically just washing my car. Remember the if you look at the last video I did the uh, mesh inset. So here you go. Mesh inset held in perfectly. And this is a power pressure wash too. See the way I installed it and the way I rigged it up is perfect. Didn't move, didn't didn't flinch at all. Been driving to work over 70 plus miles an hour. And it's holding up perfectly fine. So um, the way I showed you last video is a 100% viable way to uh, get the grill to stay and it looks pretty freaking amazing and good clean. It's like a night rain, it's just washed, it's gonna rain, it sucks, but I wanted to show you guys it does hold up. Okay, I'm back at the house. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sprinkles. Why does it crazy down here? But anywho, uh, purpose of that was to show you that the grill is holding up. 100% perfectly fine um, No issues with it. No wavering. No flexing. Nothing like that. So again, uh, I advise anybody that has a, a Front mounted cooler to cover it up with some mesh um, I would call this a, a good clean install. I just want to give you guys an update on the last video on uh, Any mods that I do how it's holding up cars looking really really, really really nice and shiny Good to go good to go good to go Okay, so next up, I think I'm about to order, well, I have to order, I need an, another um, O2 uh, sensor for my uh, wideband gauge. So I'm going to order that next, get that put in, and then, of course, the intake. Starting to rain again, guys. Peace. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Okay, moving on. Uh, ordering parts. For those of you uh, that are like me that... Um, have the AEM uh, gauges right here is the two part numbers that you're going to need if your wideband gauge the sensor goes bad this is for a non UGO gauge um, the original AEM wideband gauges so right there if you have a square plug 32001 if you have an oval plug 32004 that's just for you guys that are like me that um either got the gauge used or you've had the gauge for a while or it's been multiple cars etc you need a new plug i repeat the ugo plug or bung however you want to say it will not work with the non-ugo gauges even though they look identical okay i just called aem to get an update on that i'm about to order this right now off ebay for 62 dollars um again just look at the end of your plug at the end of your gauge and that tells you which one of these you need to buy I figured this was information that uh, others like myself out there might need. So I'm about to order this um, new uh, oxygen sensor so I can get my wide bag gauge uh, working for this tune. So again, I just want to, I'm ordering parts now, more parts. Uh -huh. um, and uh, uh, for all you guys that were looking, look no further. Here you go. See, look, I'm about to order right now. The last one he has. Um, but the order because I have a square plug, that's what it looks like. And if you look at the end of your car, you can see what I'm talking about. So, guys, I'm back. I just finished washing my other new car. The new outline of sport just finished washing, nice and shiny. Love this the car. About to go out for the Mother's Day, the pop of those. Nice and shiny. You guys think about getting an SUV, you really should get one of these out on the sports. back mother's day was awesome that was a good time at mother's day just wanted to show you guys uh, some good food that's uh papa Do's. for you guys don't know that is papa Do's restaurant okay moving on uh today i want to try to fix this right here some of you guys that have these older um honda civics will have this issue you see that that lip this side right there 
so that's popped out that's because the tab tore underneath i'm pretty sure all you guys that have the 06 to uh 11 uh civics have had this issue with it popping out uh pretty easy fix i'm just gonna put a washer or a, a, a flat washer i should say um underneath glue it there that way the bumper doesn't have that much play it's gonna pull against the washer which should keep it from sticking out um you could use whatever method you want to use for this in this case uh the tools you're gonna need are right here um i'm using um parts that i've left over from um other stuff i've done again if you do a lot of your work like myself you'll have extra washers bolts nuts etc so basically a screwdriver take off that corner i got tape because i put tape around my finger right here because i have to obviously push the washer against the bumper i don't want any of this loctite getting on my skin um, and then these are the washers right here. These are just washers left over from when I did my Password JDM um, uh, video. If you saw that for the Password JDM bolts. As long as that screw can fit through that, that little small hole, shouldn't be a problem. It's got to glue it underneath the bumper. So I'm going to go ahead and take that side of the bumper off, or that corner, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. The bumper is off right here. As you can see, it's pulled out. That's what I'm talking about right here. See how it's tore right there in the corner? Um, that's what happens over time. Now let's go underneath this. Bumper screws into kind of like that. Turn the camera so a little bit right here. The hole right there. You can kind of see it. That's what it screws into. So you want to make sure the washer doesn't cover that hole, basically. So I'm going to glue the washer. Okay, I'm going to glue the washer right here in this corner, and then make sure it doesn't cover that hole. And what it should do is preventable from pop popping out, basically, because it's going to hit that washer. Again, these are the same washers I used. Uh, for the password JD and bow kit. Here's the screw that goes into it. So those washers fit perfectly. Right there. So perfectly on. You look at it from the top. I'm going to get better views. The guy from the top has a little bit of shaft play, but not much. So it won't go out that far. So let's try this. Let's just glue it on there. It just said it's five minutes to dry and then 24 to cure. So over in five minutes, this thing will be stuck. If not, I'll get some. Um, Plastic glue, uh, plastic uh, uh, glue, yeah, to use. But if this lock tape works, we'll find out. Okay, guys, not the cleanest job, but it'll get the job done. Hopefully, we'll see. See, I just glued it right there. Get the camera focused again. Just glued it right there, top, and then glued it underneath. Hopefully you guys caught that, you can see on the camera. But I uh, should give it five minutes to cure. We'll give it five minutes to cure. Hopefully it's hopefully it's gonna be tight. It was, that's the whole point. If this doesn't work, then uh, next step I'll use is I'll use uh, what the term I was looking for is plastic weld. Same plastic weld I used when I did my uh, my door panels to get the uh, suede on and stuff. So I'll we'll come back in five minutes and we'll see if it's tight. And if it's tight, we'll put it back together and see if we close that gap. Okay, guys, we are back. <clears throat> I get way more than five minutes to dry. Probably more like 20 minutes to dry. As you can see, the problem we focus it right there. Hey, guys, you can see? Now, I'm pushing it. Not wiggling at all. It's what we want it. There's excess glue right here, but not worry about... I'm not worried about all the excess glue right there. Because, again, it's going to go underneath here anyway. The point is to get it to, the screw to fit through, through that hole. So... If we look, let me get down. I get my screwdriver. I get down. Take a, take a look at it. Take a look at it underneath. So it looks like underneath because I did apply some underneath. It is right there. You guys can kind of see my thumb is right there. Looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and screw this back in and see how it looks. Okay, we tell the truth around here, it didn't quite hold. The Loctite didn't hold, it, it broke. So, I'm gonna have to get some plasty, some plasty well. Didn't quite hold, guys, at all. So, I'm gonna go buy some plasty weld, and we're gonna try this again. Okay, so 
up at the wind. This is round two. We're gonna use this Loctite super glue. We're gonna try this this time. To attack this corner. Same process, same way. It's just this says that it works on metal and plastics. So we're gonna hope we get better results. Same way I just did it on attempt one. So I'm gonna use this uh, type of super glue. Hopefully, we have better success. Let's get going. Okay guys, it is locked tight, a lot cleaner look than focus that. A lot cleaner look. See? A lot cleaner. And also it's sturdy, sorry about the wind guys, it's always windy out here. See I got tape on my hands. See? A lot sturdier. So we're gonna screw it in and we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully attempt two. Is better than the first one. Hold on. Hi guys, here's the finished product. There it is. A lot better. It's not like perfect, but it's closer than what it was. You remember, look at the before image, it was sticking out. Zoom in, back up. Yeah, I can see it from a higher angle. See it? Looks damn near flush. Slightly, I mean, it's barely sticking out, see? Barely. Not like it was, it was like way up, like here. That's tucked. So it worked. Only thing I would say would be you can probably get the washer back up, sir. You can probably get the washer a little bit deeper in there. But that works. See, I can't push on it. If it doesn't pop out. And for comparison's sake, there's a side that was never broke. See? It's flush. So. Slightly off, you can't even tell. To, can't even tell to that. See? Pretty good. I'm gonna call this install done. Obviously, I gotta do some driving on it, make sure it holds. Should hold after a 24 hour cure. Um, but it says it only takes 10 seconds for it to go. It looks tight to me. I'm happy with the way it came out. Okay, let me get back some for you guys. You guys can see underneath a little bit happy with the way it came out came out pretty pretty freaking good came out pretty good again see that's it, that's it from the top angle looking good looking good all right well i gotta, gotta go take my dogs to the park i'm gonna call this install done round two definitely buy that loctite that i just bought don't use the other loctite crap i had didn't work uh, perfect cool. i'm so happy finally get that done Another part knocked off, guys. Don't forget to uh, click like and subscribe. Any questions, just ask, guys. Uh, still, obviously, more to come, more little things to come. I'm still waiting from, uh, obviously, as you saw earlier in this video, I ordered the uh, AFR sensors. I'm waiting for that to get in so I can get that installed. I gotta go to Honda and buy a new uh, intake manifold gasket. Let's get a new gasket. This is when I throw on this weapon on intake. Uh, I use a new gasket. But, alright, guys. Again, uh, check you guys out next video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Peace.